Welcome back to my channel, Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. My call sign is N8DAV. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona, and the motto of my channel is one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. And what you're seeing here is my box full of all kinds of adapters. I mean, you can see I've got just tons and tons of cables and adapters, more cables more adapters. I have just about anything and everything I want for nothing when it comes to needing an adapter. So what I've done today is I've decided it is raining and it's thundering and lightning out here. So I have decided that I'm bored and I need to build something. So I took these two pieces out of my adapters and I have decided, oh, I'm going to do one more thing too. But I got to find the right adapters here. Okay. Here we go. So here's some of the pieces that I took out. And um, let's see. Let's see if this will work for me. I'm trying to decide how to build this here. I've got this T, and I'm thinking about doing a horizontal dipole antenna, right? I mean, not a true dipole, but you know, you know what I'm saying, right? So, and then I'm thinking about maybe putting these on there and putting a dual vertical antenna too. So I'm going to have two, I'm going to try two different dipoles. All right. So I'm going to get these out of the way. And here's my choice of antennas. I have some Abri and A or AR771. I've got two of them, right? So they're a match set. I've got a couple of no name antennas from TID radios. These are shorter rubber ducks. And then I've got some pretty short rubber ducks from a couple of old Balfangs. And I think I've also got a couple of stubby antennas I can try. Hang on just a okay. second. I'm back. And I've got a couple of stubby, these are soft rubber uh, antennas that uh, are less than four inches long. I think they're about two and a half, three inches long. All right. So I've got my little T here. And first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put on the shorter rubber duck antennas. Now, I think I'm going to have to zoom out here, try and get a better picture. So hang on. Okay, so now you can see the antenna in its entirety. And now I'm going to put it on a radio. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to put it on the radio. I am going to put it on my Rig Expert Stick Pro. Let's see how it works. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this is going to work on, on the camera, because I don't know. Let's do ham radio. Let's see what happens. So two meter, I've got 2.6. Hmm, interesting. 70 centimeter, getting uh, 5.2. So not so good. But two meter, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's uh, try these little stub antennas and see what happens with those. Hey, it's rolling away. Now, this is not a good experiment. I'm just playing because I'm bored. 
All right, so don't tell me I'm doing the test all wrong. I don't really care. Okay, 70 centimeter, very high. Two meter, a little bit better, down to about three, 2.9. All right, let's try something different. Let's try the medium length rubber ducks. These are pretty much normal length rubber ducks. These are about nine inches or so long. All right, so a horizontal dipole, not really a dipole, but all right, let's see what it comes up with. Ham radio. Great, 1.77 on two meter. And not so great on 70 centimeter. Hmm, all right. Okay, so far, the two meter wins out with these these medium length rubber ducks all right the last one i'm going to do is with these ar 771s from a brie oh, we're going to whip around yeah this is way too big too heavy, but we're here to have fun, right? We're going to see what happens. All right, ready? Two point nine on seventy centimeter. Not bad. Not bad. Oops, went the wrong way. Two meter. One point five. Wow, that's pretty darn good there, you know. All right. Well, I'll be right back. I'm going to change this uh, horizontal dipole to a, uh, a dual vertical, like a trucker type setup. I'll be right back. All right. You can see what I've done here. I've done a dual vertical antenna. So I don't expect the results to be any different, but what the heck? Let's try it. Up oh, four meter. I don't want four meter. Let's go two meter. And actually, I think it was a little worse. 70 centimeter, too high. Okay, I think the vertical antennas made it worse. Well, let's try some more. Hang on, be right back. I'm going to unscrew these. And I'm going to set up the short rubber ducts. These are about five inches. All right, let's see what we get. 70 centimeter, very high. Let's try two meter. Oh, better, under three. All right, let's. Try the medium length rubber ducks. From TID Radio. All right, so you can see. Burn. All right, here we go. Oops, I did the wrong thing. All right, here we go. Ham radio. Up oh, two meter, 
70 centimeter, way too high. You know, I think it got worse when I put it uh, vertical. Isn't that interesting? Let's try this again. Now, when I turned it vertical, I got a little bit better. And I'll show you in just a minute. Now, it's worse on 70 centimeter. All right, let's go back to two meter. I'll do a two meter vertical, and then I'll show you what we got. So I got 2.1. All right, let's try it with the two Abri AR771 rubber whip antennas. They're about 18, 19 inches long, I believe. Okay, this is pretty awesome looking. You know, one's actually much shorter than the other one. All right, let's try it vertical and see if we, what we get. And I'll show it to you when I'm done. Oh, we get 3.3. .3. So let's turn it horizontal and try it again. Oops. 2.4. Horizontal. Interesting. Okay. And let's try 70 centimeter. This is very awkward. Okay. 70 centimeter. Getting 4.4, basically. All right. Let's turn it vertical and see what we get. And we're getting about the same. 4.6 is what it came out to be. See? Okay. I'll be right back with my I just want you to see that I've also put on a uh, diamond RH77CA onto the same radio. And we're going to conjunct the two, same two repeaters. Remember, we got an S8, S9 with a horizontal dipole configuration. Let's see what we get. And I get an S10 this time with this time antenna and we'll do the same thing we got an s plus 20 before and we're getting an plus s30 so obviously a good antenna does a lot of good the horizontal dipole antennas with the dual abri ar771s did better than the uh, single Abri AR771. Very, very interesting stuff. Now, that doesn't mean that doing a dual anything antenna is going to be better. But in this case, it really did work better. Okay, I decided to add a little bonus footage in here for you. And I'm going to put this um, dipole style antenna. HT antenna onto a uh, mag mount on a cookie sheet. And with my rig expert, Stick Pro, I am going to go 70 centimeter. And look, you got a really nice SWR. Remember, our SWR was not doing very well before. 1.2. Let's do 2 meter. Oh, not so good. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? Shows you what a little ground plane can help do for you. All right. So I thought I'd give you just a little bit of in more information that you can play around with. And I'll be right back. Okay. As you can see, I turned the antennas vertical. Now these are the AR771 Abri 19 inch whips, uh, dual band. And so I'm going to run the um, tests again for two meter and 70 centimeter. Let's take a look. If I didn't catch it on something here. All right, on 70 centimeter. Wow, that's pretty darn good. 
1.37. Let's try 2 meter. 2.7. Interesting. So it's a huge difference turning them vertical as compared to horizontal. Very, very interesting. Okay. I might run one more test. Let's see. I might come back with another one. Hang on. Okay. I happen to be running the vertical AR uh, 771s, and I'm getting some action on one of the repeaters, and it's And it's on a plus 40, where it was about a plus 20 before and a plus 30 with the diamond antenna. Hang on. Let me get it reset back up. Okay. On the one that we had about a, 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 minor, a, a S8, S9. And we still have an S8. Okay. But on the other... It was definitely better than the single diamond RH770 CA. Very, very good. Interesting. All right. I'll be right back. My thoughts today are this. We had some fun here. We tried some different configurations. And, um, you know, we did a little bit of uh, ad hoc testing. And uh, it worked out okay. Um, not great, but it worked out okay. So. Um, you know, uh, this is something that you do in ham radio. You experiment, especially on a rainy day. All right, this is uh, Dave. My call sign is N8DAV. And uh, I live in Flagstaff, Arizona. And uh, my, my uh, motto for my channel is one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. Saying 73s and so long.